I want you to look up. Ooh, the ceiling. That's not what I mean. I want you to look up at the sky. You might have to look out a window or you can just imagine looking at the sky. What can you see up there? Now I want you to imagine that you're looking past the sky. What do you think is out there? Space? Yeah. Now imagine that we're in space and we're looking down at our planet, planet Earth. Wow, it's so blue and green. Now I want you to zoom out even more. Now what can you see? Planets. We're looking at our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's go through them in order from closest to the sun to furthest to the sun. Over here. We'll start with the planet Mercury. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, all these planets are the same size on this sheet of paper. That's so you can get a good, proper look at them. But they vary greatly in sizes. The planet Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It's also the smallest planet in our solar system. You'd think that most planets can't actually be seen with the naked eye and that you might need a telescope to see them. But that's actually not true. You can see most of them. And it's possible to see Mercury in the sky at night. It can be hard to spot sometimes, but it is possible. Mercury is a tiny planet. It's actually only the same size as our moon. It's rocky, it's dusty, it's covered in craters from being hit with objects floating through space. Boof, boof, boof. It also has some volcanoes on the surface. An interesting fact about Mercury is that it's actually the fastest moving planet in our solar system. It zooms around the sun in 88 days. So a year on Mercury is only 88 days. This is actually why it's named Mercury. Because Mercury was the Roman messenger god. He was very fast. Let's compare Mercury to Earth. It's very, very different to Earth. On Mercury, one day lasts the same as 59 days on Earth. The surface of Mercury gets extremely hot in the sunlight, much hotter than anywhere else on Earth because it's closer to the sun. The parts of the surface that get exposed to sunlight are really, really hot. But the parts of Mercury that don't get exposed to sunlight are very, very cold. Much colder than anywhere on Earth. Let's give it a holiday rating. Mercury, I would not recommend for a holiday. Let's look at our next planet in our solar system. Venus. Now, strangely enough, although Mercury is closest to the sun, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. And it's actually our closest neighbor. Adley ho, neighborino. Venus is easily seen in the night sky. It's the brightest object in the sky, apart from the sun and the moon. Let's talk about Venus's surface. It's a rocky planet. It's about the same size as the Earth, but it has a thick atmosphere which traps heat inside it, causing Venus to be incredibly hot. It's about 462 degrees Celsius. That's enough to melt some types of metal. Now Venus is different from other planets because it spins the other way. It also spins very slowly. One day on Venus is about 243 days on Earth. Well, Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. A long time ago, Venus was thought to be two different stars, called the morning star, because it appeared in the sky after sunrise, and the evening star, because it appears in the night sky too. Then they realized that it was the same planet. Venus also has no moons. Let's give it a holiday rating. Well, being the hottest planet in the solar system, would not recommend. You can wear as much Factor 50 as you like. You're still going to get burned. Earth is the third planet from the sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. 
Earth is around 150 million kilometers away from the sun. It takes us 24 hours to rotate once. A complete orbit of the sun takes 365.25 days. Our calendars count a year as being 365 days. The extra 0.25, or a quarter of a day, is counted as an extra day every four years. Can you remember what that's called? That's right, it's called a leap year. Now, the Earth is actually at a slight tilt, meaning parts of the Earth are closer to the Sun at different times of the year. It's this tilt that causes the four seasons, which I actually spoke about in another lesson. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system to have water on the surface. Liquid water covers about 70% of the total surface area of our planet. The centre of the Earth is made from hot metal core, surrounded by a liquid metal outer core. A mantle of molten rock and rocky crust on the outside, it's not known for sure how Earth got its name. One theory is that the name came from the Old English and German words Eorthe and Erde, meaning ground, but we're not totally certain. The Earth is the only planet in our solar system that is not named after a Greek or a Roman god or goddess. Let's give it a holiday rating. Would highly recommend Earth to go on holidays. Let's move on. The next planet is also a neighbour of ours, the planet Mars. Again, Mars is sometimes called the red planet. This is because most of the surface of Mars is covered with a thick layer of iron oxide dust has a kind of a reddish colour. This is the same metal as a rusty car. Have you ever seen a bit of rust on an old car? And it's reddish kind of in appearance? Mars has a lot of similarities to Earth. A day on Mars is about 24 hours long and 39 minutes, which is almost the same as on Earth. Mars also has seasons. It has clouds, has weather, just like we do on our planet. Now like Earth, Mars has ice caps on the north and south poles, and the surface of the planet is covered in mountains, volcanoes and canyons. The weather on Mars is actually very similar to Earth too. Mars is further away from the sun than we are though, so parts of the planet can get very, very cold. In summer, the warmest part of Mars, the temperatures can reach about 20 degrees Celsius, which is Give or take, it's about as warm as we get in Ireland in July. These similarities have made some scientists wonder if there might be, or ever has been, life on Mars. Do -do 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 -do. So far we don't have any proof that there's ever been life anywhere in the whole universe, except for planet Earth. Now given the conditions on Mars, it might be possible for microscopic living things called microbes to survive there. Let's give it a holiday rating. Um, 5 out of 10, it was kind of warm, it can get very cold, um, but there was very little atmosphere. Let's move on. Jupiter. Jupiter is actually my favourite planet in the solar system. It's the largest planet we have in our solar system. It's the fifth planet from the sun, and it's about 588 million kilometres away from Earth. That's pretty far. Jupiter is a gas giant. It's a huge ball of gas with no solid surface. It has a cloudy atmosphere with colourful belts and spots. See? It's also so enormous that you could actually fit 1,300 Earths inside it. That is a big planet. To help you imagine this, if Earth was the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Now Jupiter's most famous feature is this giant red spot. This is a giant storm that has been blowing non-stop for hundreds and hundreds of years. This spot is bigger than our whole planet. Jupiter is named after the king of the Roman gods. The Romans named the Star of Jupiter after seeing it in the night sky believing it to be sacred to their god, Jupiter. Jupiter is very, very different from Earth. One day on Jupiter is less than 10 hours long. 
It's actually the fastest spinning planet in the whole solar system. Jupiter takes a long time to orbit the Sun. A year on Jupiter is the same as 12 years on Earth. Holiday rating for this gas giant? Would not recommend going to Jupiter. Next in our solar system, we have a planet called Saturn. Saturn looks pretty cool. It's the second largest planet in our solar system. It's the sixth planet from the Sun, and it's 1.2 billion kilometers away from Earth. That's a lot of running. Saturn is also a gas giant. It's an enormous ball of gas with no solid surface. It's famous for its seven beautiful rings. You can kind of see them here. Now these rings are actually made up of chunks of rock and ice. It's not the only planet in the solar system with these rings, but none are as spectacular as the ones that go around Saturn. Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture and time. In Roman times, it was known as the Star of Saturn, and it was believed to be sacred to the god Saturn. Saturn is very different from Earth. One day in Saturn is less than 11 hours long. Saturn takes a very, very long time to orbit the Sun. A year on Saturn is the same as 29 years on Earth. Saturn actually has 82 moons, way more than any other planet in our solar system. Holiday rating? It would be a bit of a bumpy landing getting through the ice and all that debris that makes up the rings. And also, we couldn't set foot on the surface because it's made of gas. Therefore, would not recommend. Next one, Uranus. Uranus is the third largest planet in the whole solar system. It's the seventh planet away from the sun, and it's just about 2.6 billion kilometers away from Earth. Uranus is an ice giant. Temperatures can reach minus 224 degrees Celsius. This makes it the coldest planet in the entire solar system. Uranus gets its bluey green color from a gas called methane, which is in the atmosphere there. Uranus actually also has 13 rings, the only planet in the solar system other than Saturn that does. The inner rings are narrow and dark, and the outer rings are brightly colored, and they're easier to see, but they're not as visible as on Saturn. Uranus is the only planet in our whole solar system to be named after an ancient Greek god. With the exception of Earth, the other planets are all named after Roman gods and goddesses. One day on Uranus is about 17 hours long. Uranus takes a long time to orbit the sun. One year equals 84 Earth years. Whew. Holiday rating? <sighs> Coldest holiday ever. Would not recommend. And last but not least of our eight planets we have, Neptune. The planet Neptune is the fourth largest planet in the whole solar system. It is the eighth and most distant planet from the Sun. It's just about 4.3 billion kilometers away from the Earth. Neptune is an ice giant. Temperatures on Neptune can reach minus 218 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest planets in our solar system. Neptune is so distant that it takes the light from our Sun four hours to reach the planet. That's how far away it is from the sun. It gets its deep color from a gas called methane, which is also in the atmosphere. It has no solid surface, and instead, it's made up of a thick soup of liquids and gases. Ew. Neptune is the only planet in the whole solar system that can't be seen in the night sky without a telescope. Whew. Now, I know that was a lot of information coming at you. But before I say Slan, I just wanted to give out some honourable mentions. Firstly, Pluto. Pluto used to be classed as the ninth planet in our solar system. But it's actually too small to be classed as a planet. It's even further away than Neptune. Now there's a reason I'm mentioning it to you, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Second honourable mention, the moon, on Gallic. Now the moon is made of rock, not cheese. The moon is a natural satellite, which means it's always been there. The moon travels around the Earth, which takes about 28 days to do. 
It's about 4.6 billion years old. The moon is the only place that humans have set foot on in space apart from Earth. The Earth only has one moon and it's largely known as the moon, but it's sometimes known as Luna. Now I hope you enjoyed learning about all the planets in our solar system. And here's a really nice way of remembering each one. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Even though I know it's not really a planet. You can remember it like this. My very educated mother just showed us nine planets. My Mercury, very Venus. Educated Earth, Mother Mars, just Jupiter, showed Saturn, us Uranus, nine Neptune, and P, Pluto or planets. I've got a great idea. Why don't you use all the information that I've given you today to draw a fact file for each planet? Or, if you're feeling very adventurous, I know that Moon to Arclina was doing a paper mache lesson you could try and make some paper mache planets and build your own solar system.